Hello and welcome to Dot Dot Toys. Today we are going to be learning about a fantastic American named Martin Luther King Jr. So stay tuned to this video to learn more about Martin Luther King Jr. and how he helped to shape the United States of America as it is today and the Civil Rights Movement. Martin Luther King Jr. was born in Atlanta, Georgia on January 15, 1929. He went to Booker T. Washington High School. He was so smart that he skipped two grades in high school. He started his college education at Morehouse College at the young age of only 15. On June 18, 1953, King married Coretta Scott. They had four children, Yolanda King, Martin Luther King III, Dexter Scott King, and Bernice King. In 1954, when he was just 25 years old, Martin Luther King became pastor of the Dexter Avenue Baptist Church in Montgomery, Alabama. Martin Luther King Jr. wanted everyone to be created equal. He felt that it was wrong to be judged by the color of your skin. Before the Civil Rights Movement, African Americans were not treated equally to white people. They were not allowed to use the same public bathrooms, use the same entrance or exit at places such as the movie theater, they could not use the same swimming pools or sit in the same part of a restaurant that white people were sitting in. Martin Luther King Jr. felt that it was wrong to judge people by the color of their skin. He believed that people should be judged on their character and not how they looked. He felt that something had to change in this country and everyone needed to be treated the same. Dr. King encouraged and participated all types of non-violent protest efforts, including sit-ins at lunchrooms, where the blacks and whites were separated. Returning to Atlanta, he took over his father's church and continued to support civil rights. He was arrested in 1960 when he and 75 other black Americans entered a department store and requested service at the lunch counter and were denied due to their race. They continued to sit until the time they were arrested. The story was brought to the attention of then candidate for president John F. Kennedy, who called King's wife and expressed concern for their treatment. His first major role in the civil rights movement came in 1955, after an African-American lady, Rosa Parks, was arrested for refusing to give up her seat to a white man on a bus. This sparked outrage in the African-American community, and Martin Luther King Jr. helped to organize a boycott of the city's buses. After 381 days of protest, which is just over a full year, a court finally ruled that such segregation laws should no longer be recognized. In 1963, Martin Luther King Jr. helped to organize the famous March on Washington. Over 250,000 people attended this march in an effort to show the importance of civil rights legislation. Some of the issues the march hoped to accomplish included an intersegregation in public schools, protection from police abuse, and to get laws passed that would prevent discrimination in employment. It was at this march where Martin Luther King gave his I Have a Dream speech. This speech has become one of the most famous speeches in history. The march on Washington was a great success. The Civil Rights Act was passed a year later in 1964. Martin Luther King was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in April of 1964. 
In 1968, Dr. Martin Luther King was frustrated with the slow movement of civil rights and equality and was attempting to broaden the range of programs that he wanted to address in the hope that it would attract leaders that would take action. But on April 3, 1968, while standing on a balcony in Memphis, Tennessee, he was shot and killed by a sniper bullet from a former convict. Some of you may know that Martin Luther King Jr. Day is now a holiday. On November 2, 1983, President Ronald Reagan signed a bill to declare Martin Luther King Jr. Day in remembrance of all of the great things he did to fight for civil rights. He was the first African American to be granted a national holiday. Martin Luther King Jr. Day is celebrated on the third Monday in January. Martin Luther King Jr. Day is celebrated in January in honor of his birthday. Martin Luther King Day was first celebrated January 20th, 1986. All 50 states did not recognize Martin Luther King Jr. Day as a paid day off holiday until the year 2000. The state of Utah was the last state to declare Martin Luther King Jr. Day a holiday. There are now over 1,000 streets in the United States of America that are named after Martin Luther King Jr. So that is a lot of information about Martin Luther King Jr. and what he did in the United States to help African Americans to get the same rights as everyone else in the United States. Thank you so much for watching this video and we sure hope you learned something important. Please be sure to subscribe as well as hit that bell notification so you'll get notified when Dot Dot Toys puts out new videos for you to be able to watch. Again, thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.